subscribe tag tv youtube channel and press the notification button you're watching tag tv India is well known around the world owing to its historical background, diverse cultures and interesting traditions. Its ancient scriptures and texts have been the way of life of its people for thousands of years. Today, the country is taking huge strides in various fields like arts and science, paving a way towards a progressive India. So friends, I'm your host Shreya Savichai and today in our episode of My India, we'll take a look at some of the stories that very well showcase the unique culture and prosperity of our country stretching from Himalayas to Kanyakumari. The secular land of India is home to a number of different cultures and lifestyles that all possess their own unique set of festivities and rituals. Ramadan, the ninth month of the Islamic calendar, is the holy month of fasting, introspection and prayer for Muslims. Every year, it is observed with great zeal and enthusiasm with Muslims across the country hosting iftar parties during the entire month. But this year, amid coronavirus outbreak, Ramadan is being observed in a very silent manner with no bigger celebrations taking place. Have a look. With nationwide lockdown being imposed to curb the spread of COVID-19, mosques, shops and other places of worship remain closed in the erstwhile lively and colourful month of Ramadan. Islamic clerics across the country have urged Muslim devotees to pray at homes during the holy month of Ramadan and to follow all social distancing guidelines issued by the government. The Islamic Centre of India, a religious body, has even deployed a vehicle in Lucknow city of Uttar Pradesh to make announcements and appeal to devotees to stay indoors and avoid gatherings at the mosque during the holy month. फिलहाल कोई ऐसे इत्तार पार्टीज नहीं हो रही हैं जो भी इस रमजान के पवित्र महीने में अपने रोजा रखना चाहता है या नमाज पढ़ना चाहता है वो अपने घर पे करेगा इसको कोई सामाजिक कार्यक्रम नहीं बनाना है और मस्जिदों से सामूहिक रूप से इस तरह के कार्यक्रम नहीं होंगे लगातार उस क्षेत्रों में लाउड हेलर से अनाउंसमेंट भी हो रहा है और हमें उम्मीद है कि लोग इसको मानेंगे न्यू डेलीज आइकॉनिक जामा मस्जिद मॉस्क इज ऑल्सो साइलेंट एंड एम टी दिस टाइम विद नो डेविटीज मेकिंग देयर विजिट टू द कॉम्प्लेक्स एज द रिजल्ट ऑफ द लॉकडाउन Similar scenes are also being observed in the mosque across the country which too are lying barren this festive season. Is masjid mein hum jo jahan pe baithe hain yahan par tent hota tha bahar bhi andar bhi masjid full hoti thi bahar bhi log hote the lekin aajkal jo hai sirf do teen bande hi hum namaz padhte hain masjid ke andar. Ha ye aisa pehli martaba dekha gaya hai. और खासकर यहाँ पर इफ्तारी का बड़ा नज्म होता था इंतज़ाम होता था तकरीबन एक हज़ार तक बंदे यहाँ पर इफ्तार करते थे तो इस वक्त जो है सिर्फ हम दो तीन बंदे ही मस्जिद मस्जिद में हैं पीपल इन वेरियस पार्ट ऑफ द कंट्री हैव डिसाइडेड टू स्टे इन डोज दिस रमादान एंड सेलिब्रेट द फेस्टिवल विद सिंप्लिसिटी एंड कोहरेंस Ramadan is the 9 month of the Islamic calendar during which Muslims do not consume food or even water from dawn to dusk. They start their day with sahri, a pre-dawn meal, and end it with iftar meal in the evening, which the devotees usually have with families and friends. For Muslim believers, Ramadan is a time to detach from worldly pleasures and focus on one's prayers. A month long fast is intended to bring the devout closer to God and to remind them of the suffering of those less fortunate. Amid corona virus outbreak when prime minister called for nationwide lockdown thousands of migrant workers started leaving for their homes. 
Some reach their destinations, while few remain stranded in other cities. In such a situation, Radha Swami Satsang Bhyas Ashram, that has its centers in various cities of the country, came to their rescue. The spiritual organization, along with the help of local administration, not just made the proper arrangements of their stay, but also looked after their other requirements. Presently, thousands of people, no matter which caste or community they belong to, are staying at their centers, where they are living peacefully under one roof. Have a look. The Radha Swami Satsang Bias Ashram facility in Saharanpur city of Uttar Pradesh has become a shelter house for hundreds of stranded migrant workers who left for their homes during nationwide lockdown amid COVID-19 pandemic. These workers had left for their homes but got stranded in the city. Though the administration transported around 4,000 to the destinations, but still around 900 of them remained stuck in Saharanpur. Here, these workers are now looked after by Radha Swami Satsang Bias, who along with local administration made proper bed arrangement for them under huge sheds maintaining social distancing. Hygienic and healthy food which is made in the ashram's modern and clean community kitchen is also served to them three times a day. Along with this, giant projector screens have also been set up for the entertainment of the migrant workers. Instructors too have been hired to them for yoga and other exercises daily so that they maintain fit both mentally and physically amid lockdown. मैं इस लॉकडाउन की फंसने की वजह से सर मेरे को इस प्रशासन की दौरान सर मुझे जहां पे राधा स्वामी भवन में लाया गया और मुझे जहां पे हर एक फैसिलिटी खाने से लेके पीने से लेके नहाने धोने से लेके सर हमें हर एक फैसिलिटी जहां पे मिल रही है और सर जहां तक कि हमें बताया गया कि आपको घर जाने की सुविधा भी आपको मिलेगी पर जहां पे हमें घर जैसी फीलिंग आ रही है In the capital New Delhi, some 400 migrant workers have taken shelter in the Radha Swami Satsang Bias Ashram in Bhati Mines, where proper arrangements of the stay and food are done. The centre also prepares food packets, which are distributed by the administration to needy, irrespective of their fate. यहाँ पर तकरीबन 400 माइग्रेंट्स हमारे सत्संगर राधा स्वामी सत्संगर बाटी मैंच में ठहरे हुए हैं जिनको जरूरत की सारी सुविधाएं मुहैया कराई जा रही हैं सत्संग की तरफ से खाना पीना सब हर तरीके की सुविधा उनको यहाँ दी जा रही है राधा स्वामी सत्संग साथ साथ तकरीबन 27 लाख पैक्ड फूड अब तक सप्लाई कर चुका है थ्रू दिल्ली थ्रू एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन एंड थ्रू पुलिस डिपार्टमेंट Based on the teachings of all religions, Radha Swami Satsang Bias is dedicated to the process of inner development and the guidance of a spiritual teacher. The spiritual organization has always been on the front foot at the time of calamity and it is devoted towards serving humanity. Now, a roundup of some of the major stories that made news recently. A special flight carrying British nationals of Indian origin who were unable to return to United Kingdom after being stuck in India due to a nationwide lockdown imposed to tackle coronavirus were recently allowed to leave the country. As many as 259 passengers were taken in a flight from Sri Guru Ram Das Ji International Airport in Amritsar city of Punjab. बहुत तकलीफ लगती सी असि तीन चार डिफरेंट डिफरेंट फ्लाइट बुक किए पर कोई नहीं उन्होंने कम बने हम रिपाट्रिएशन फ्लाइट अस बहुत हैप्पी हाँ भी सू मिल गई द स्पैशल फ्लाइट वॉज अरेज बाय द ब्रिटिश हाई कमीशन इन कोलैबोरेशन विद द इंडियन गवर्नमेंट एज पर द मीडिया रिपोर्ट्स
The Central District of New Delhi recently introduced a mobile COVID-19 testing van in order to make testing more accessible in the busy streets and therefore increase the number of samples taken. The mobile testing van will specially go to severely affected areas in the capital, including containment zones. Health workers will also take samples of policemen and other essential service staff deployed in the area. जो हमारी छोटी गलियां हैं पतली गलियां हैं उस एक तो अंदर अंदर पेनिट्रेशन ज्यादा होगा दूसरा बिकॉज जब ऑन फुट जा रहे हैं सैंपल कलेक्शन के लिए तो उसमें टाइम ज्यादा लग रहा है इस केस में क्या होगा कि मोबाइल रहेंगी टीम्स तो उनका जो सैंपल कलेक्शन डेली का होगा वो ऑब्वियसली ज्यादा बढ़ेगा सो नाउ ऑनवर्ड्स हम उनको टारगेट देंगे दैट दे हैव टू कम विद दीज मेनी सैंपल With the help of the mobile testing van, the district magistrate hopes to increase the number of samples given to more than 100 samples per day. Indian Air Force recently took off from New Delhi to remote northeastern states of Meghalaya and Mizoram. carrying about 22 tons of medical equipment and other aid to fight with coronavirus outbreak Indian Air Force IL-76 transport aircraft is carrying surgical gloves masks medicines and other such aid to the northeastern states after they demanded help from the federal government Primarily it includes medical supply loads the personal protection kits which includes the mask the gloves and the uh, productive gear along with goggles it's a complete kit hand sanitizers and medical load which is uh, demanded by the state governments total approximately we have about 20 tons 22 tons depending on uh, the capacity of the aircraft and we'll be carrying that to uh, the northeast now the corona virus cases in the northeast in indian states are comparatively low but the local governments are taking extra precautions to remain unscathed from the virus next we move to our section of asia buzz where we will take you to explore two wonderful tourist attractions of japan shirakawa located in gifu prefecture is popular for its mesmerizing landscape and ferry ride in tokyo is again emerging as popular trend we have a report One of the most beautiful and traditional villages in Japan, Shirakawa, is located in Gifu Prefecture. Because of its amazing natural environment and due to its presence of high mountains and heavy snowfall, its interaction with neighboring areas is limited. However, this has led to the development of social cooperation and cultural lifestyle in the village. 1995年の12月にですね、えー、この、えー、白川村と、えー、富山県の五箇山もあるんですがそこと一緒になって、えー、世界遺産に登録されたという経緯がありましてあとあのー、なぜ登録されたかと言いますとあのこの見て分かっていただけるようにあの景観がまず素晴らしいと。あの田んぼとかあの合掌造りだけが世界遺産になったわけではなくてその田んぼとかこの山とかですねあのいろいろ含めた上でになってますそしてもう一つあのその中でも由衣というものがああのまあ助け合いですねそういうものも含まれて、えー、世界遺産に登録されてます。シラカワスキークライマティックフィーチャー is that it receives one of the heaviest snowfalls in Japan. Snowfall that takes place from December to March may reach the height of up to 2 to 3 meters. As a result, houses here mostly have thick thatch roofs. あの手を合わせて合掌をするその形に似ていることから名前がついているんですが、屋根を急にすることによって冬の屋根雪が落ちやすくなります。それと、えー、屋根を高くすることで屋根裏面積を広く大きく取れますのでこの場所を養蚕、お蚕さんを飼うために活用するという目的から進化をしてきたのが合掌造りなんですねこの建物自体は
今言いましたように300年ほどの建物で国の十分指定を受けている合掌造りとなります。The reason why these houses are in a such condition is a regular maintenance that takes place every year. The villagers cooperate with each other to repair their houses, and thanks to this cooperation, that they have been able to keep their village maintained for the last hundreds of years. Tourists from all over the world visit the village every year. It's still nice to kind of see, I guess you'd say, something more traditional and old fashioned. And it's very open, and I mean, even with everyone here, it still feels very calming, and it's nice to get away from the big cities. Shirakawa Village is very unique and offers a great opportunity to have a glimpse of Japanese tradition and marvelous effort of residents. Next, we take you to Japan's capital, Tokyo. That has hundreds of rivers and canals, and where once boats and ferries were to be seen, but due to the development of train and highway transport network, their usage has declined. But recently, these ferries around Tokyo are again becoming popular and garnering much attention of the tourist, similar to a tourist spot. 今あの東京中広がっておりましたやはり昔からながらですと隅田川を中心にですねあの江戸川とかあの品川方面のこの事業者も多いですね水の上に浮かぶお座敷と考えていただければあの純和風の船に屋根がついておりましてあの中は客室になっておりましてまあ今あの以前は畳の船がほとんどだったんですけど、今あの畳の船、ポリゴタツ形式、あとはあのテーブル席などもあって中で皆さんまあ式を降りる降りの外を眺めたり中で宴会してあのまあお座敷で皆さん楽しんでいただくというような形になっております。It's fun to take a ferry ride in Tokyo in every season, but many people love to take ferry ride during spring to enjoy the views of cherry blossom along Sumida River, and during summer, Tokyo's famous firework can be seen as well. やっぱり桜を見たくて川から陸からじゃなくてもう桜の川をこう走りながら船で。There are various styles of boats, ranging from futuristic style to older style, that are used to ferry patrons along the Sumida River. One of the boats is a replica of the famous samurai warship that belonged to one of the Tokyo's rulers hundreds of years ago. Japan, no, ferry. というのが今あまりこの国内にもありませんのでえかっこいい要線はたくさんあるんですけどもやはり日本の文化をまあ世界にえ発信するためにあの和式船の豪華な船を作ろうということでこういった船を作りました。These stores give people a unique chance to see the beautiful and intricate landscape of Tokyo from a rare viewpoint. It's been said that service to humanity is service to God. Presently, when coronavirus has given a huge blow to humanity, people across India are coming forward to feed thousands of hungry souls. A similar scene was observed in the southern city of Hyderabad, where a Muslim man undertook the initiative to distribute food packets to the needy, regardless of their caste and religion. Thus. Breaking the barriers of caste and keeping up with the age-old tradition of our country that are based on love and compassion for all. Take a look. With nationwide lockdown announced by Prime Minister to contain the spread of the virus, the decision seems to be hitting hard to the underprivileged section, who is finding difficult to have at least one meal a day. Doing the needful at these hard times are some people like Sayed Hamid. Who, rising above polarization, 
are coming together to help those in need during the pandemic. Based in Hyderabad, Saeed Hamid is a businessman turned social worker who decided to distribute food packets amid the lockdown with the purpose to feed the people of all communities irrespective of caste. हम लोग इधर संतोष शरण के रहने वाले कलंदर नगर के बचपन से हम लोग इधर आए रहे हैं और हम लोग को जो हम दे रहे सो सर भी है हम लोग बचपन से पहचानते हैं ये लॉकडाउन रहने की वजह से और ये हम लोग जो भी है घरों में कामों के लिए मुश्किल हो रहा घर पे बहुत मुश्किल हो रहा तो इस खदर के लिए हमारे को मालूम करके हमारे घर पर आ हम लोग ये टोकन दिए सर और दिए से उनको जो भी ये मेंटेनेंस कर रहे जो भी हम लोग को हेल्प कर रहे सबको हमारे तरफ से बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया Hamid started distributing food packets around 15 days ago and has distributed around 500 packets till date. He goes door to door to look out for the needy and hands them a token to which they can come and collect their food packets the next day. The essential kits include rice, wheat, salt, turmeric powder, chili powder, onions, tamarind and cooking oil. Hamid believes that the month of Ramzan is a month of prayers introspection and being dutiful he therefore is distributing these kits to all people regardless of their religion he hopes that this deed of his will inspire other affluent people to come forward and help the needy in this crucial time hamari guzarish hai ki hindu muslim sab ko baato aur jitne bhi bade paise wale hai आज टाइम है गरीब लोगों को मदद करने का आप अपने तरफ से जितना हो सके दिल खोल के मदद करिए फिर मौका मिले या ना मिले एट प्रेजेंट वेन द होल कंट्री इज अंडर कोरोना वायरस लॉकडाउन इन सच सिचुएशन अ नंबर ऑफ पीपल कटिंग अक्रॉस द रिलीजियस लाइन्स आर कमिंग फॉरवर्ड एंड एक्सटेंडिंग द हेल्पिंग हैंड टू दोस इन नीट As people in India stay at home to keep the novel coronavirus in check, the country's few creative minds as well as the police are coming out with novel ways to create awareness about the pandemic and enforce nationwide lockdown. Let's take a look at few such examples whose creative ideas in the midst of coronavirus are truly commendable. In Lucknow city of Uttar Pradesh, Artists painted on the road to honor those on the front line in battling coronavirus outbreak. Giving a message of awareness and precautions, artists drew graffiti depicting Indian police cap, medical signs and microphones of media organizations. जनता को हम सिर्फ इतना संदेश देना चाह रहे हैं कि आप इस भीषण बीमारी से सिर्फ जागरूक एवं सतर्क होकर इस जंग को जीत सकते हैं प्रिकॉशन इज़ बेटर देन क्योर इससे डर के नहीं लड़ के जीता जा सकता है और इसमें हम अपने जो हमारे सुपर हीरोज़ हैं जो हमारे इंडियन सुपर हीरोज़ हैं वो इस समय अपना बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण योगदान देश की सेवा के लिए दे रहे हैं Police in the capital New Delhi transformed themselves into coronavirus zombies wearing white protective suits and helmets shaped like the coronavirus in a bid to convince people to practice social distancing. Indian police have got creative in their efforts to promote social distancing and deter lockdown violations. जैसे ये सड़क पर आते हैं उन लोगों को समझाते हैं रोक के समझाते हैं तो उसका एक परमानेंट एक जो छवि है उनके दिमाग में बन जाती है कि ये वायरस निश्चित रूप से कितना खतरनाक है और इसके लिए वो सारी प्रिकॉशन जो उनको लेनी चाहिए वो लेने की कोशिश करते हैं पुलिस इन चंडीगढ़ सिटी टू हैव कम अपनीक वे ऑफ कैचिंग कोरोना वायरस लॉकडाउन वायलेटर्स by using a modified pincer attached to a pole to maintain social distance and avoid physical touch the device will be used to catch non cooperating coronavirus lockdown violators
by their waist so that police can get a hold of them without touching them. जो आदमी जो मतलब पुलिस के अकॉर्डिंग नहीं चलता पुलिस के ऑर्डर के मुताबिक नहीं अपने आप को सरेंडर करता तो उनको कई वीडियो देखी हमने उसमें देखा अभी कभी जो पब्लिक आज लेडी कॉन्स्टेबल की वीडियो वायरल हुई थी तो वो पुलिस को चिमट रही है तो पुलिस उससे दूर भाग रही है इसी आइडिया को देख के ये चीज़ तैयार की गई भी जिसको पुलिस डरे ना उसको अपने काबू में कर सके The pandemic COVID-19 has created an atmosphere of fear and anxiety all around but the integrated efforts of the government and the citizens is not just creating awareness among people but is also encouraging them to strictly follow the rules. That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at mindia at anin.com. I'm your host Shreya Savitre and it's goodbye from the entire production team.